So the next question that we see on the screen is that a person has deposited thousand uh, dollars in a bank. In a bank at twelve percent per annum. Calculate the amount he will be receiving by the end of third year. Okay. Now in this question we have explicitly mentioned that it is end of third year. Okay. That essentially means if I draw a timeline 0, 1, 2 and 3, my first year will start over here and it will end over here. My second year will start over here and will end over here. My third year will start over here and will end over here. That means my end of the third year is actually over here. Okay. Now that person has deposited some thousand dollars in the bank today. And he wants to receive money at time 3. So how do we do it in the calculator? The first step that we normally do whenever we go forward, go with the time value of money concept. That is second FE. Okay, this will clear out all our memory. memory. And in this calculation, we have $1,000 as a present value. So we will put 1000 as a PV. We have 12% per annum and we know that there is this is an annual compound because nothing has been mentioned about it. So we know that this is an annual compounding. So we will write uh, 12 i by y. If this would have, wouldn't have been annual compounding, your i by y and your n would have changed. Now with respect to n, we know that it has completed entire 3 years. So n will be 3 and we will compute for f how do I do it on the calculator I'll first clear the calculator and I'll go and do second f v that is the first step I'm going and doing to 1000 since I'm depositing this 1000 I'll input negative in the present value okay and then I'll be importing 12 as an interest rate into i by y and 3 as an n the number of years and I'll go and compute for FV. This is the answer that I get. Please note that the answer that I've got for FV is into positive. This is the reason because I when I inputted my present value it was in negative uh, negative condition. So that means my FV will always be opposite. So this is a basic rule that we need to understand. If I have inputted my PV as negative my FV will be positive. If I have inputted my FV as a positive then my uh, a PV has positive then my FE becomes negative. So answer for this question is basically in option B.